Hello and welcome, one and all, to Let's Play... Well, I'm going to hold off on exactly what game we're going to play next. Uh, when my first Let's Play, I did uh, Ninja Warriors because it was a game I knew very well. It was just a regular game for the Super Nintendo. I didn't have to worry about anything special. For the second game, I'm going to do a ROM hack. I enjoy watching, for example, Azure Blade's ROM hack reviews, but there's no way in hell I'm going to subject myself to the kind of uh, torturous experiments that he, uh, apparently people send him to play. I don't think he goes out of his way to find such things, or one would hope he doesn't. <clears throat> I knew about ROM hacks in a very limited capacity. I thought that pretty much the only way you would hack a ROM was to translate a game. I knew that you would you could download IPS files to apply a patch to a Japanese ver uh, video game and get a fan-made English translation out of it. And I knew that there were some games where you didn't have to download the IPS, you could just get a downloaded hacked ROM. I was unaware that people completely rebuilt games using, uh, well, at, at first I assumed that they had to program, and that's why I had never seen them. Not that I have a giant web presence in the ROM hacking community. <clears throat> I find out later that there are level editors which make it easier to, you know, you don't have to have the coding practice, I guess but you still need to have the ideas and then put the time and effort into the execution. So, I went looking at ROM hacks and I found that there is a very large community ROM hacking uh, games and it seems that they like to focus on certain games. You can find a lot of hacks for, of course, Super Mario Brothers and Super Mario World and there's a fair number of hacks for the Mega Man games and I've even seen an entire set of brand new games built using the Legend of Zelda engine. <clears throat> I found that through Big Dip on a bus's uh, website. But the game I wanted to play, just like Ninja Warriors was one of my favorite Super Nintendo games, I wanted to play a another game that was very meaningful to me. I believe it was the second game I ever bought for the regular Nintendo. Uh, the first game that I ever bought, I'm not going to tell you what it is, but I, I promise I will do a Let's Play of that game as well. It'll be short and boring, but uh, I love that game. <clears throat> so, what game did I get here? Well, first I'm going to read you the little blurb that the, uh, the ROM creator put up on the website. Uh, this is the description and it's what caught my attention. This is a 100% complete patch. Most of the map was totally deleted so the game was built again from scratch. Items are moved, puzzles are changed, and there is no such thing as a dead end. In this hacker's humble opinion, the design is tight and professional. It is both mentally and physically hard, but I avoided such design flaws as having to bomb arbitrary points in the floor or placing enemies so that you get smacked in the face on the way in or out of rooms. Fans should love this game. It's essentially a brand new game. Minor text and graphics hacks were done, but mostly just for packaging purposes, such as the title screen. If you like the original, you should pick this up. So what is the original? Well any gamer of my age has played this game or well has probably played through several games in this franchise I know a lot of people think the Super Nintendo version was one of the if not the best games of all time but I love the original Metroid this is Metroid Deluxe by Deluxe Games it was made six years ago uh, they used to have a website I can't it doesn't exist anymore and the little bits of information you can pull out of web archives uh, just doesn't offer a lot so I'm gonna play through this I've already played through it once before uh, in fact after I recorded each video for the let's play ninja warriors 
I sat down and played this game for 10 or 15 minutes as well. It doesn't take very long. Uh, I can't remember how long I played it for. I know I was up late in the night a couple times. But we're going to play through this. And uh, we'll find... I'm going to do a little bit of a, a walkthrough, a little bit of a let's play, and a little bit of a ROM hack review. Because there's some things about this game that I really like. And there's some things that the uh, Deluxe Games did that I think was a bit of a bad decision. So I will meet you in the opening screen. I'll see you there.